हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज वैलिड पैरेंथिस स्ट्रिंग इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग विद सोल आर लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस चैनल एंड दैट कैन डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू विद योर इंटरव्यू द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन आर स्ट्रिंग कंटेनिंग ओनली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स लेफ्ट पैरेंथिस राइट पैरेंथिस एंड अस्ट्रिक राइट अ फंक्शन टू चेक वेदर दिस स्ट्रिंग इज वैलिड वी डिफाइन द वैलिडिटी ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग बाय दिस रोल्स एंड द रोल्स आर any left parenthesis must have a corresponding right parenthesis any right parenthesis must have a corresponding left parenthesis left parenthesis must go before the corresponding right parenthesis means first you need to have a opening bracket then you need to have a closing bracket and the fourth one is asterisk could be treated as a single right parenthesis or a single left parenthesis or an empty string and the fifth is an empty string is also valid so we are given with example example number 1 when open bracket we have close bracket the answer is true at example number 2 we have open bracket and at the end we have a closing bracket so these two cancel out in the middle we have a asterisk and the asterisk can also be treated as a empty string so the answer is true and if we come to example number 3 we have a open bracket in the starting and we have closing bracket in the end so these both cancel out and it says this asterisk can be treated as open close or empty string so here we will treat it as a opening bracket or the left parenthesis so this will cancel out and the answer is true so let's move on to pen and paper let's see how we can solve this question and after that we will see the code so if we look at the question so we have left parenthesis right parenthesis and an asterisk and this can be treated as open bracket close bracket and an empty string main thing we need to take care is that which value we should assign to asterisk because here we can simply count the number of left and number of right if corresponding left from starting is equal to the corresponding right then we can simply say it's true and we can simply use stack for this but problem arises when we have a asterisk in between so let's see some examples and after that we will see how we can solve this question so suppose if i say that we have an this string so is it a valid string no and if i say if our length is zero means if i say we don't have anything it's empty it is mentioned in the question that if it's empty it's valid so if length is zero we will return simply true and suppose we have just one element and that one element is asterisk then also it is true because we can consider it as a empty string so we found two things that if we have length equal to 0 and our first element or the if we have only one element and that is asterisk then we need to return true else if these two conditions are not there and our length is equal to 1 which is this case either this case or this case so we will return false because neither this is valid neither this is valid okay so we are done with few things one is if our length is zero then we will return true if an empty space then also we will return true if we have single asterisk then we will also return true but if these three conditions are not there and we have length equal to 1 that means either we have a left parenthesis or we have a one right parenthesis that means we need to return false so what if i have example like this so this cancel out with this one and we can make it as a left parenthesis and we have right parenthesis it will cancel it out and it will return 
so how we can solve this question first of all i will calculate all the left and i will move from left to right and i will calculate all the left parentheses and i will treat asterisk as a left parenthesis if at the end my left is less than 0 because suppose if i start counting from here when i came here i added 1 to my left count so it's plus 1 so value becomes 1 i came here for now i will treat it for now when i'm counting left i will treat it as a left so again i will add 1 so now it became 2 but here i have right so what i will do i will reduce 1 so it will become 1 i came here it's again right i will reduce 1 it's become 0 and if my left is less than 0 that means it's false and when it can become less than 0 let's see one another example suppose if this was the string I came here my left will become 1 I came here I will treat it as a left so it will become 2 I came here I will reduce 1 because I encounter a right one so 1 I came here it will become 0 then I will came here it will become minus 1 so in this case it should return false why because we can check it manually that this is not a valid string so this was the from left side what if we have to make it as a right so what we will do we will return false only in one condition if our left is less than and if it's equal to 0 then we will return true so let me write down the cases false if less than 0 true if equal to 0 and if we have anything other than this we will not do anything we will leave it, we will leave it for now let's come the turn for right once we are done with left we will calculate the right so we will start from here whenever i will encounter right i will add one and i will treat asterisk as a right and if i encounter left i will reduce one so i came here it, it became one i came here it became two i came here it became three i came here it became two same rule if less than zero false if equal to zero true and first of all we will start from left whenever we satisfy any of this condition i will simply return false or return true and if this is not zero or less than zero that means we need to treat asterisk as a right because in this case we already have zero we already have true that's why i didn't get any value which is either 0 or less than 0 let's see another example in which we can make it true so let's see this example when i came here it's become 1 when i came here it's become 2 when i came here it's become 1 and when i came here it's become 0 so same condition if 0 we will return true what if the example is this
I came here, it's 1. I came here, it's 2. I came here, 1. Geo. Answer. And we can simply tell it by looking at it. It's not a valid string. So what we are simply doing here is, first of all, we are counting the left. Then we are counting the right. And if at any time my left is less than 0, I will return false. If it is equal to 0, I will return true. If my code doesn't end here, I will move on to right part. I will count the same way. And if my right is less than 0, I will return false. And if it is equal to 0, I will return true. Let's see the second way to solve this question. So one was this way, another was using stack. And how we can do that? So let me take another example. Let's take it as example. What I will do, I will take two stack. Stack one and stack two. First stack will take care of my all the parentheses whether it's left or whether it's right and my this tag will take care of star or asterisk while moving in the string if my parenthesis is opening parenthesis i will simply append its index and if my parenthesis again an opening parenthesis I will simply add it index to. But if it's asterisk, then I will add its index to my second stack. When I will come here, if my parentheses are right, then what I will do, I will simply pop from my first stack. And at the end, what I will do, I will match the values of my first stack and the second stack. I will take out the top element of both of them and I will match them. If my values from here is less than the values from my second stack, then I will pop both of them. If I see my value in the stack 1 is 1 and my value is in stack 2 is 2 and the value in the stack 1 is less than the value in the stack 2, that's true. I will pop both of them and at the end I will check the length of my stack. If the length of my stack 1 is equal to 0, I will return true, else I will return false. And let's see why I am saying I need to check the values of my first stack and the second stack. So when we were reading the question, it was mentioned that our left parenthesis should be before our right parenthesis and if you look at this code to make this to make this string valid this asterisk should act as a right parenthesis and to make it true the left parenthesis must be before that so it doesn't matter how many asterisk or how many left values we have all the corresponding left parenthesis will gonna be before right parenthesis. If you see this example, if I say this is a string, can this can be a valid string? No, because this asterisk have three values, open, close and empty. And let's try three of them. This is not true, false. This is not true because it is mentioned in the question we need to have left before the right and this is not true. So that's why because of this situation we are checking the index of our left should be less than our asterisk index. So what we are simply doing here is we are taking two sec stack 1 stack 2 and while moving in the string if the element is a left parenthesis we are adding the index 
and if we encounter any right parenthesis we are popping it and if we encounter any asterisk we are adding the index value in the stack 2 and at the end if we are done with our string and we still have something in our stack 1 I will compare the last element or the top element of my stack 1 with the value of my stack 2 and if it is less than stack 2 I will return true and why I am checking this I told you guys here so let's move on to coding part and let's see the code let's see the code for first method so at the line number 3 what I am checking if the length of string is equal to 0 so we will return true or if we have anything in the string and that thing is asterisk then also we are returning true and after checking these two conditions if my length is equal to 1 so either I have the left parenthesis or I just have the right parenthesis so in that case we will return false at line number 8 I made a variable left balance which is equal to 0 I am taking a loop if my i is equal to right parenthesis so what I will do I will simply reduce it by 1 else whether it is a asterisk or a left parenthesis I am adding into the left balance and if my left balance is less than 0 I will return false and if my left balance is equal to 0 that means I will return true because I calculated the left and the asterisk and those are equal to 0 that means I will simply return true then when we are done with our left part I am checking for the right part so right balance is equal to 0 I am looping from the back side and if at any time I encounter the left parenthesis I will simply reduce minus 1 else I will treat asterisk as a right parenthesis and I will add 1 whether it is a right parenthesis or an asterisk and, and if my right parenthesis is less than 0 I will return false and if it's not getting me false I will simply return true so let's see whether it works or not so I submitted my code here and it got accepted so this was the first method to solve this question let's see the code using stack so at line number 33 I made two stack stack and a star stack in the stack I will add the index value of a left or right parenthesis and in the star stack I will add the index value of asterisk at line number 34 I am taking a for loop and if and if the character is left parenthesis I will simply append it to the stack and if it's a star I will append it to star stack if the character is right parenthesis so I will check for a condition if the length of stack is greater than 0 then I will pop it and if the length of star stack is greater than 0 I will pop from star stack else I will simply return false and after doing that if I still have something in my stack and star stack I will compare the values of top element and if top element of stack 1 is less than the top value of star stack I will simply pop from both of them else I will break and at the end and if length of stack 1 is 0 it will return true else it will return false so let's see the code whether it works or not I submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the solution using method 1 and using stack if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe